Hey, this is Jimmy Beach with a quick tip video from Alien Skin Software. This video shows you how to use the gradient tools in Exposure. Exposure's gradient tools enable you to control the application of edits and presets to a specific area of the image with a seamless natural fade. Let's first look at the edited version of this image to get an idea of how it will appear when we're done. Now, let's go step by step through the workflow with the original image and recreate the effect. I'll apply one of Exposure's slide film emulation presets, Fuji Velvia 50. We will use the gradient tools to control the placement of the preset. Before I do that, notice the On New Layer checkbox. When this option is checked, choosing a gradient will apply the shape in a new layer. I want to edit the current layer, so I will uncheck this box. The gradient tools in Exposure come in three different shapes. The radial shape, controls the placement of effects you apply using an adjustable circular region. Radial is the most flexible shape option. It can be adjusted to work in many different scenarios, such as drawing attention to the subject in portraits or event photos, or it can be used creatively for fine art images, landscapes, macro shots, and more. The planar shape controls applied effects with a smooth falloff in both directions from the center line. This shape works well in images with strong linear components like landscapes or architectural photos. The half planar shape only falls off in one direction from the center line. This shape makes easy work of darkening an overexposed sky or selectively adding contrast or clarity on a horizon. Each shape has a similar set of controls that enable you to customize the shape to fit your image. Click and drag the region to move. Adjust the gray handles to position, rotate, and scale the region. And you can control the transition from where the effect begins and ends by adjusting the dotted line. Note the Invert Mask button. This reverses the placement of the effect. The strong color saturation looks great on this photo, but it's a little too much for the couple's skin tones. I'll press Invert Mask again to remove the effects from them. Next, I will select the Burn preset and use a new half-planar gradient at the top of the image to bring down the exposure of the bright sky. You can adjust the visibility of each gradient shape you select with the Opacity slider. I'll do that here to blend the effect to my liking. As a final step, I'll add a new Dodge preset layer and I'll place a half-planar gradient at the bottom of the image to bring up the exposure in the foreground. And that was it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't used Exposure, head over to the website and download the free trial.